just nosing down at it. I'm just gyrating the rod, just kind of shaking the rod at it. There we go. Oh, there goes the fluke. There goes the fluke, right in the top of the lip. There we go. Bed fishing, city park. All right, here we go. Got a bed fish. He just took my damn bait right before. So maybe, oh my God, so aggressive. Maybe, I think this is the male, pretty sure. I don't, can't really see the female. I ain't really seen any big, big ones, so. Well, the whole goal for the day was to walk around City Park looking for bedding bass, because I know they're bedding right now. So I'm walking, and I seen a few beds, nothing really big, and then come across a monster. But uh, I caught two on a fluke. This big bass, the only thing she was interested in is anything that looked like a perch bait. If I want to finish this quest, this is probably where it's going to come from, most likely. Come back with these warm out baits next time. I'm going to come back Monday. So hopefully all the weather cooperates and everything. So. Can't tell where I'm at. I'm at City Park today. And I'm going after this big giant bass I seen the other day. Couldn't get it to bite, but today I got some different baits. Uh, some more perch style baits. The only thing I reacted to was a live target crankbait, but I kept getting grass on it, and that was a problem. So, today, this is the line I've been looking like for the day. I got a live target bluegill swim bait. I got a big bites warmouth Texas rig. And I got a pearl and silver swimming flute. So, I got some. I got everything today. I actually brought all kind of stuff. I brought lizards, big lizards, small lizards. I brought worms, shaky heads, wacky rigs. So we got to throw everything at this girl and hopefully she actually eat the swim bait because that would be fantastic because that's what I bought it for. So let's get to it. Hopefully we can end the bass quest today. I have time today to actually fish and actually like go after them. All right. She came to check it out. She's looking at it. Shake it a bit. She's trying to figure this dude out. That's all. All right, here we go. Good one, solid one. I don't think it's the female though. Got him, there we go. Finally, it just shows that persistence pays off and finally we caught one. There she goes, or well, he goes. He's nosing down on it, I know he turned off on it. He hit it on the way down. He's getting mad. Thought he had it, but he didn't have it. Oh, I got him fired up. No. So that fish y'all have seen the video, there it is. I just freaking my I ran out of storage on my card so oh well there it is got him on a warm mouth on a shaky head all right 
there's a bed that's out here a little bit. He just swam off with it. And I went to set the hook and he wasn't there. So I'm just gonna give him a little bit of, a little piss him off again. I never hooked him, so can't tell if he's on the bed or what. Oh my God. See, look, he had it, but I didn't get him. So I'm gonna get him. Give me a minute. He's getting mad now. Oh my God, Jesus. Must have had a nick in my line or something. See if he'll come back and get it now. Don't set the hook on him, just, just lean into him. There we go, got him. Got you. Got you this time. Got you this time. I'm gonna turn. He was mad at it this time. He got that damn hook free though, I'll tell you that. Got the damn hook free. Nice bass. It's always good to let your bed fish go. Damn thing that fell out of my hands. There you go. See it just cruising along. Good to go. Guys, I hope y'all liked the video. Make sure to subscribe, drop a like, drop a comment. I caught all those fish on a different style. I took a bait and I hit it in the face with one it ate it and um, I threw it in one bed and I drug it and that really made it mad and I caught one like that I caught another one outside the bed just twitching it and um, another one I threw out there and as soon as it hit the bed uh, it hit it I caught some more just hopping it along and everything else but I, I got him a little irritated first that was the key I got him a little irritated just kind of messing with him you know popping up in the air and they'd look at it and i also gauged on like how the fish was reacting to my bait if it was a catchable fish or not i seen two big bass that would have finished the quest for me i seen one that was probably about six another one that was probably about nine but uh they were not interested in anything i had and i kept i worked on one the big one the nine pounder for like two hours and it didn't want to do anything i went back the two days later and I threw a bluegill bait at it and it hit the back end of it and that was it. It would not touch it and I went back the next day and they were gone. So I think this batch is gone because I went back and I didn't see barely any fish on beds. But no worries though. They're going to be back. They're going to have another batch coming. It's going to be new fish that's not been molested like crazy. Especially in a place like City Park you get so much pressure. You know it's hard. These fish know, you know, they're going to see all kinds of stuff. So you got to be one of the first people to get out there and find them. And that's the hardest thing is, you know, especially with work and everything else, you just, you know, got to go out there and go find them. So I'm going to keep going along. That's going to probably be at the end of the month when all that's going to happen. I'm going to keep fishing for them, but I'm going to do some sockley videos in between because that's going to be really good now, actually. I just need to go out there and go do it. But, uh... I thank y'all for all the support that y'all been showing me. It's awesome. I love it. As of today, I'm at 740 subscribers. Shit, it's not going to be that much longer until we get to 1,000. So that's going to be awesome. Once that happens, I'll probably buy some new uh, editing software so I can start doing a lot more things. But I got to have a reason to justify to do it. So, All right, guys. Later.